Hey guys, it's Kate, your Plastic Free Mermaid. I'm here in Woolgoolga, New South Wales, Australia. And we're just here at Louise Hardman's workshop. This is where the magic happens. She is the CEO, founder of Plastic Collective, and she is the inventor of the Schroeder machine. And we have one of her prototypes. Hey Louise! Hi Kate, welcome <laughs> to my warehouse. <laughs> Thank you. Workshop. 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 Yeah. workshop. And we, uh, we've got one of the Schroeder machines here, isn't that yep. right? Show yep. us it, tell us about it. Okay, this is, this is my prototype machine. So okay. Because I pulled a few things off it. Yeah. Um, our Schroeder Mark II co looks completely different, very schlick. Um, we've got pictures of it on our website and video of it in operation. PlasticCollective.co PlasticCollective.co yep. Alright. Um, so basically it's two machines in one. It's a shredder machine on one side, shreds okay. plastic. So you open it up and what? Yep. how does it work? Um, we throw the bottles or bottle caps or whatever single use plastics in there. Yep. It gets shredded down. Shredded by those blades, got it. Gets put into buckets. Such as this. Collected in the shred. Yep. The shred. Shredded um, into this shred. Okay. Separated into the different types of plastics. Yep. Okay. And and then we put the shred into the extrusion barrel. Put it into the extrusion barrel. Got yes. it. And so it gets. Extrusion goes through. See that little. Yep. Okay. Extrusion Hold goes on. through. Heats up. Forces it out. We have different nozzles. Different shaped nozzles. So we could do either filament, which is this stuff. Oh yeah! Um, wow. So this extruded is extruded into filament. Yeah. Okay. So that can be made in three D printing filament baskets. We can hot extrude, so ah. we can do that. We can do. Ah, cool. Um, you know, we can sort of get machetes and re rewire machetes and knives and things like that. Wow, amazing! Um, and then what can this be? What can this filament? You can use this in three D printing. Yeah, so that Great. can go in three D printing as long as it's got the right diameter. Okay, um, three cool. or one point seven five, and we're experimenting with different types. So much experimenting, That's, so cool! Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Um, but there's also also, lots of different things you can do with the filament, like in a lot of communities, small communities, they like to do weaving. They have a lot of women's cooperatives, weaving, baskets, things like that. But we're also doing um, work on soft plastics, turning the soft plastics into some really useful items, which is very exciting. So we're just developing methods for that right now. Woohoo! So, yeah. Very yes. cool. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for all the experiments to yeah. come up with the discoveries and the new uses for plastics. So yeah. positive vibes, guys. Good We've work. got the solutions coming. No, all is not yeah. lost. Have hope. Yay. More. Here's more uh, filament. Yeah. These are very cool. So what kind of, what did you use to um, make these? They're made out of bottle caps, complete bottle with caps. labels and everything. That's why it went a bit gray. Oh yeah. Interesting kind yeah, of color there. A bit. Mm. Um, and then, and then. The cleaner stuff is, you know, we can use bottle caps to get the really bright colors. Okay, so that's, that's nice why, and soft. Yeah, so over here you see where we've separated all the bottle caps into their different colors. Oh yeah, so it's good to separate these into the different colors so you yeah. can get a nice yeah. clean blue nice filament. Clean colors. Yeah. Um, and I mix them, some of them I mix with milk bottles, which okay. is HDP as well. Okay. And also working on sort of making different things like okay. molded items. Making different molded items. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, they're stuff. a bit rough at the moment. That's the back side. Yeah. That's the nice side. Oh. <laughs> this is the nice side. The nice side. Um, cool. Yeah, so there's all different things that you can make. It's oh. just a matter of imagination. And we're trying to avoid this. Where is this mm. from? Actually, I've got a nice one here. Um, the label's fallen off there. Okay, so this is, this is our plastic zip. So this shows you the densities. Okay. Um, densities wow. of plastic. So, I did a post on my Instagram a while back saying how three, three float, four sink. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So when you see the plastic, that's, you know, what it ends up looking like. Wow, three float. Mm. Which ones are the ones that float? Uh, your polypropylenes and polyethylenes. Okay. Um, so two. five, four, and two. Yep. Okay. And the heavier ones, which is PET, polystyrene, PVC, PLA, they all sink. Wow, so, so interesting. So more than half okay. of the plastics that go into the ocean are at the bottom of the ocean. Ay, and ay, ay. moving down, so that's not good. Mm -mm. So as you can see, they won't break down, but it will make this sort of gooey mess, mm. which is what's happening in our oceans right now. Yuck. So that's the reason why we're doing this, to turn waste into resource so we don't treat it like pollution anymore. Right.
Mm -hmm. Great, so use less plastics, but do not fear. For those out there who are still using plastics, there are gonna be places yeah. for it all to go. We are going to extrude it into useful items. Yeah. So have hope, yeah. support Plastic Collective, support Louise, yeah. um, follow her journey, Plastic Collective, Plastic underscore Collective on Instagram, yep. PlasticCollective.co. Dot co. Yeah. Yep, yep. Anything else? And we find, basically, Reduce single-use plastics. We overuse single-use plastics. Reduce where you can. We can't reduce, recycle, and turn it into something of value for the community. Mm. And what's the best way to recycle? So cleaning stuff, yeah. separating them. What's yeah, the best? Yeah, make, uh, make sure. Yeah, you do clean them, keep them separated. Um, it's basically trying to find somewhere in your community that's doing the recycling and getting involved with them, being part of it, being part of the collection team, being part of the creation, or part of the transforming. So helping with the closed loop economy mm. is really, really important. Great. So. And separating your stuff, so having a wet bin and a dry bin. Yeah. So all your food waste, all your organic stuff, keep that stuff yeah. separate out of your recycling, out of your waste, because yeah. that's going to contaminate the recyclables. Yep. Um, and if you do have a recycling bin, clean that stuff, separate it out so that people like Louise can then uh, separate the things into useful, you know, like with like, so the same types of plastics uh, get to be grouped together and then they can be re repurposed, recycled, closing the loop on these little plastics. Yeah. And also go and ask at your schools because they do a lot of bottle cap collections at schools and they're just starting to get into these programs um, and there's a lot of really good stuff out there. So. Find collection points like schools or it might be a community centre or something like that and start getting involved. Awesome! Hey guys, back in the workshop with Louise. She's just informed me that she accepts PLA, polylactic acid. So these are those bioplastics that I love to hate on because they're still single use and they're still wreaking havoc in the environment. Mm -hmm. But legend, Louise has a solution for us. So what, yep. are, what have you got there? Um, yes, yeah, so here. I don't know, can you see that okay? Yeah. Um, this is an all press coffee lid. Most of the coffee lids are made out of polystyrene, which is probably not the best one to be using. Carcinogenic. You know, hard to sort of recycle as well. This one's made out of PLA, all press. Um, I recommend them. They're quite good because I like to collect them. I like to shred them down. All right. Um, so you can shred so PLA. Shred them down. You can shred compostable yep, those um, ones. into shred. Now, let's get uh, specific on this. You can't uh you know these are compostable in what conditions um they're compostable in an in an industrial compost system okay. which so not in your backyard not in your home compostable unless it's a really hot compost okay it has to reach 60 degrees for four hours before it'll break down and do all the kind of local compost like do most collection no there's not a lot of them around okay. um you sort of have to search around to find one the usually um They'll get rejected if they go into a green bin because the, the laser machines pick them up as plastic, which right. they are. And plastic can be made out of, like, basically any any um, any monomer, any cellulose or, you know, plastic style material. Right, okay. But the, to, get, to kind of break this down, mm. we um, it's great that they say compostable, but it kind of is greenwashing because people then think they can put them in the green bins for collection and then that corrupts the compost or the, the um, green waste. Uh, people think they can put them in their backyard compost, they won't break down there, and so they end up kind of messing up the recycling stream as well as they get confused with recyclable plastics. However, Louise... And recycle them talk to us about yeah. it yeah so I, re I really like those ones because they i can shred them up okay. with the machine um that's the pla there in shreds wow. it's a really nice it's quite a heavy type of plastic very rigid so yes. it makes really good 3d printing filament Great. at the moment it's the most popular um 3d printing filament in on the market hmm. basically so you very know cool. we're, we're looking at sort of making this into the filament you know through our machines over here Cool. And yeah, and seeing what we can make. So all the schools that have PLA, they use PLA in their three D printers. Yep. And they do tests and they throw it away. You can save that, that save all that stuff, and we can reuse it. Oh, and we so can great. reuse it and shred it down and remake it in, into things because plastic is Latin for plasticos, mm. which means to remold. Amazing. So, reuse the stuff. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Yep. Super exciting. Thanks, Louise, for having a solution for even the compostable plastics. Very inspiring. Support yeah. Louise, plastic underscore collective on Instagram and plasticcollective.co. Thank you. Woohoo!